Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna to share with you all there is to know about the new 2022 Subaru Ascent, as well as some key details about the Ascent in general that you might like to know. So if you guys are in the market for a third row SUV, then this video is for you. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to post weekly videos related to Subaru topics. So if you enjoy that, please consider clicking the subscribe button down below. If you get value out of today's video, please be sure to click the like button that really helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. So the Subaru Ascent is actually Subaru's only third row seating option now. You can get it in a seven or an eight passenger. If you get the seven, you've got the center captain seating. It's only offered in North America currently and it's actually produced at a factory in Lafayette, Indiana, which is about three hours from our dealership here in Louisville, Kentucky. This one is a 2021 model. I don't have a 22 model yet. However, the design is going to be the same for the 22 model. They're only changing a few small things for the new model year. And one big difference they're gonna be changing is a new trim level, which I'm gonna talk about in just a little bit. I'll actually have that new trim level on the lot next month if all goes as planned. So I do plan to make a video on that as soon as it arrives. The Ascent is all-wheel drive, just like all other Subarus, with the exception of the BRZ, and it has a towing capacity of up to 2,000 pounds on the base model and up to 5,000 pounds for all other trim levels in the Ascent line. It also comes standard with a 2.4-liter turbo four-cylinder engine. That's exactly right. It's a four-cylinder, not a six. A lot of people are surprised to hear that because they drive this car and because of the power and the torque that this achieves, a lot of people think it's a much larger engine, but uh, this is more than enough and sufficient to pull and tow things that you may need. And it has 260 horsepower with 277 pound feet of torque. It actually has a lot of low end torque too and can get up to its peak torque as low as 2000 RPMs. The base trim and premium trim levels get a combined 23 miles per gallon, while the Limited and the Touring and the new trim level that I'm gonna be talking about get a combined 22 miles per gallon. Despite this having a turbocharged engine, you can actually put regular unleaded gas in this car. You don't have to put premium in it like you may see in other turbocharged cars. One of the new enhancements for the 22 model year is a color change. So this isn't a new color for Subaru, but it is a new color for the Ascent, and that is called the Autumn Green Metallic. So that replaces the Cinnamon Brown Pearl, which has been discontinued. If you wanna see what the Autumn Green Metallic looks like, then take a look at one of the new Outbacks. The Outback has had the Autumn Green Metallic for a few years now, and that'll give you a good idea on exactly what the new color for the Ascent is going to look like. Another enhancement they have made for the new model year is they've discontinued one of the package options on the premium trim. So to give you a basic understanding, the Ascent has previously come in a base model, a premium, a limited, and a touring. The base and the premium have cloth interior, the limited and touring have leather. And so what they've done is with the premium, you used to be able to get these 20 inch alloy wheels, you could get navigation, the power moonroof, the panoramic moonroof that everybody looks for in the Ascent, as well as a rear cargo cover. So that option package is no longer available. And in order to get that, you have to now get the limited, the touring, or the new trim level that I'm gonna talk about in just a moment. Before I tell you guys about the new trim level, I wanted to first show you another new enhancement for the 22 model year. And that has to do with the heated steering wheel. So on the limited, the new trim level, which I'm gonna tell you about in just a second, and the Touring, the heated steering wheel is a standard. Previously, the heated steering wheel would only cover this portion and this portion. So it wouldn't cover the top or this small portion at the bottom. Now with the new 2022 model, it covers the entire steering wheel just to give you added comfort in those colder months. The Touring model also exclusively comes standard with this front view facing camera. It's a 180 degree camera that will allow you to be able to see more visibility whenever you're inching out of a parking spot or a driveway where you've got cars on either side of you and you can't quite see getting out of the parking spot. Okay, so I've been teasing this new trim level long enough. The new trim level for the 2022 Subaru Ascent is the Onyx Editions. So the Onyx has the same performance capabilities that you see in other Ascent models. So it has the 2.4 liter turbo engine. It has the 5,000 pounds of towing capacity, but it adds an aesthetic 
appearance package. So the Onyx Edition comes standard with black 20 inch wheels. It has the black molding on the windows, the door frames, the headlight trim. It also has a blacked out front grille and the black roof rear spoiler. You also get LED fog lights as a standard on the Onyx Edition. And although a lot of the pictures in the media show the Onyx Edition all black, you can actually get it in all of the other Ascent colors except for the Brilliant Bronze Metallic. So you can get an Autumn Green Onyx Edition. It'll just have black wheels and the black trim pieces as well. I'm planning to do a more in-depth video on the 2022 Ascent in the future, but for now I wanted to run through some other cool features that are on the Subaru Ascent. So for those of you who do not like the auto start-stop feature where the engine shuts off automatically to save on fuel, you'll be happy to know that the Ascent does not have that feature. So there is no auto start-stop feature on the Subaru Ascent. Subaru really has you covered with your cup holders. There are a total of 19 cup holders throughout the entire car, which if you ask me is a little overkill. The blind spot detection in your mirror cap and the rear cross traffic alert, whenever you put it in reverse and it alerts you that something is back there, that is a standard on all but the base model. There's also another feature called reverse automatic braking, which will automatically apply the brakes for you if you get too close to an object behind you. This is standard on the Limited, the Onyx, and the Touring. And it's not an option on the base model, but you can get it as an option on the premium trim. Another exclusive on the Ascent Touring are these power foldable mirrors. So these are great whenever you're trying to park in narrow spaces. The Touring comes standard with the heated seats and cooling ventilated seats. So for the Ascent models that have the cargo cover in the back, this is what it looks like when it's all the way out and covered up. And then you also have a storage compartment for it as well. So you can keep it under the floorboard instead of storing it in your garage or attic where you may lose it or forget about it. And you do have a spare tire on the Ascent. It's just stored underneath the car instead of inside the wheel well. One of my favorite features on Subaru SUVs is the power rear gate. This is an option on all trim levels in the Ascent except for the base model. And you can open or close this with the key fob button. Another exclusive on the Ascent Touring is this flip up smart view mirror. So there's actually a camera above the hatch at the very top that will allow you to see out of your rear window whenever you're traveling. So you've got luggage back there that's blocking the rear window or you've got passengers in that third row that are blocking it. So it'll allow you to be able to flip this up and see behind you when you've got things blocking it, even while driving. Lastly, the third row seat is very easy to get to in the Ascent. Even if you have the eight passenger with the bench seating in the center, you can simply fold down your seat and hop over. Or if you have the captain seat, like in this one, you can just use the grab handles on the edge of the seat to pull yourself back or pull yourself out whenever you're trying to get out of the seat. So that covers it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content just like this. I will be posting my future in-depth review on the Subaru Ascent once I get that 2022 Onyx Edition on the ground. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Or if you have requests for future videos, leave that down in the comment section below. Appreciate you for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.